Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I am talking about how to create box plot in GraphPad Prism. Here the box plot, box plot also known as box and whisker plot and are a visualized style that give you sense of the distribution of your data along the y-axis and are often used to identify out layer. They are especially useful for comparing two or more group of data on the same graph. In this graph, I have shown six groups of data and all rainfall of six stations. So in this box plot, you can see one inside line, this line, that's mean median value and one bottom box line, this line, this, this bottom box line means first quartile or 25th percentile and top of the box, this line, the third quartile and bottom whisker, this line, the minimum value and top whisker, that means the maximum value. This is my data, some rainfall data for some stations. I want to create box and whisker plot. So open your prism. I am using GraphPad Prism version 9. If you not know how to install the crack version, go to my previous lecture. Here the data is in column. So you should select column and select start the sample data to allow a tutorial and click create then copy your data control a all control c copy and go to your prism your cursor should be here in the group a and here control v that's in paste okay now now go to this this section see this section here this is a table info result graph so i want to create graph so click it now it will be appear here like this this is a column in the column you can find various types of plot like box and violin click it here now see this is a box and whisker chart here only line at median but in case of this, this is a mean to maximum and also a horizontal box and whisker plot also available for here. I want to create this one, this one, okay and just create okay. Now see, this is box and whisker plot. Now double click here, go to this tab, here you can change this plot from here also. I want to show mean to max, this one, now select border. I want to change it for all select this global change all data sets click it and here border to pt change it to half pt now see apply okay now border change now select one by one you can give the same color if you want to give the same color then select global change all and give the color you can choose any color according to your choice like this or you can change one by one color like this and change it apply you need to select one by one one by one select one by one select one by one now final one this color and apply now see the color variation okay next option here this tab this tab for change the graph setting okay you should focus when you change the graph setting for this section here one tab format axis click here now see set origin automatically it's okay 
but I want to give the frame one frame so select this frame style and select plain frame again make sure git apply ok if you want to change the thickness of, of this axis then select this one okay like this but I want to choose one pt you can also increase the size here width length 7 height 5 just increase the size 8 and here for 12 apply now see increase your size x-axis this is your x-axis so you can choose here the tick direction if you want to both tick direction apply then it will be appear like this but I am choosing here only down okay and normal tick tick length you can choose the short this one this value see now change it level you can choose your level this value left y axis that's when this one automatically determine James interval you can determine in your here the 500 major ticks you can change it minor ticks you should select this if you don't want the minor ticks then select zero if you click here this value then this will be appear like this is the minor ticks you can change major ticks to thousand then it will be like this and you can also change font here the title i don't prefer the title for graph because generally we give the caption for graph so uncheck it and apply here the axis title that's when this title and you can change for axis title it's bold i want to select it regular and font size 12 is standard so okay again left x left x6 select regular and okay and here the number and leveling for this you can change it x axis that's when this one regular you can increase 11 to 12 okay left y axis again regular increase size and okay now apply and okay you can add your title by clicking here at annual rainfall mm you can add this axis title or you can delete by pressing the delete button from your keyboard the delete now your box and whisker chart is ready okay you can change the font from here also color of font from here now everything is okay now time to export you can export various way this is the export section this section you should focus this section you can export directly by your any word file click here if you click here then one word file will be open see it is opening now see here the box plot open in your word file you can open it in powerpoint just click here now see also you can export as image in various format like tip like emf like pdf jpg png i prefer png you can increase the resolution to 600 and your folder you can choose i want to save it in desktop and select ok and you can change the name box plot apply ok now see here box plot click it 
Now, a beautiful box plot is ready for production. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll upload the videos every day. Please subscribe my channel. If you have any question, ask me in the comment box. See you in the next video.